So yes, you read that title right. Our G80 M3 has broken and we haven't been able to use it for the last 30 days. Now, what happened was simple, but also pretty catastrophic and rendered the car completely undrivable. But it's time we talk about why it hasn't been on the channel and why we have the E90 parked in its place in the garage. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, go hit that subscribe button for us so you can get more German car content. And thanks for watching today's video. So I figured the best way to tell this story is to tell you guys exactly what happened from the beginning. So we're gonna start all the way back about how we got our G80 M3. So we bought the G80 M3 about eight months ago with 2,900 some odd miles on it from a BMW dealership that I'm not gonna name in this video down in Naples because truth be told, I don't think they did anything wrong and I don't really think it has anything to do with today's video. Uh, so we bought the car to kind of pay homage to my F80 M3 competition that was a six speed manual that I bought back in 2018. Really missed the experience of that car. So that's why we bought this G80. Now, up until about 30 days ago, the experience with the car has been great. Um, it's a wonderful car to drive, super fun, and offers much of the same experience that the F80 did a few years ago. So, the night that the car failed, and this video may not be uh, as upbeat as some of our other videos, and you may not get to see some mods, but we're gonna really talk about what happened to the car and how confusing it is. And, and I'm gonna do my best to kind of explain it to you and, and let you know where we're at. So when we got off of work, um, Ali and I were working at the same store that day. So when we got off of work, uh, we went out as we always do, jumped in the car and it's about a 40 minute or so commute home. So we jumped in the G80 M3, got on the road, and I kind of pride myself on getting really good fuel economy out of the car. I think it's kind of cool to drive something like that and see how good you can actually do as far as fuel economy. So I've had days as high as 30 MPG. So it's not like we were driving the car hard on the way home and it's 90% uh, highway driving as far as driving home. So uh, anyway, we get on the highway, we drive the car all the way home, drives perfectly fine. Um, we pull up next to the mailbox and that's when kind of everything started to take place. So this, these clips that, uh, that I'm gonna show you throughout this video, they were taken as it happened. And at first I didn't know exactly what happened and it, it's completely uncut. I could have cut those parts out, but it, we're gonna show it to you exactly what happened and I was pretty frustrated. So let's go ahead and cue those clips now so we can see exactly what happened to the car now that you know the beginning of the story and how we got here. So this is a video that I kind of wasn't even sure I was going to post, but what happened was so ridiculous that I really want to get it out there and kind of document it. And I want to start by saying that I'm probably one of the biggest BMW fans there is. I've owned and driven almost every generation of BMW built in the last 20 years, um, you know, all the way up from E36s and E38s all the way up to the G80. Now, I wanna apologize in advance. The lighting on this video is not gonna be very good, but that's all I can do given the circumstances. So the G80 has broken in the middle of the road. Um, I want to kind of document exactly what's going on as best I can so that when I post this, people actually know what took place. So. Um, I, I was coming home from work in the G80 and I stopped, my mailbox is right across the street from my house, so I stopped to get the mail out of my mailbox. And when I did that, I put the car in neutral, put the e-brake on as I always do, it's a manual transmission. Got back in, disengaged the e-brake, turned full lock to steer and back into my garage. Cause I always back my cars into my garage and I got the E46 M3 and the E90 and the F10 over there. so. Uh, I have to back the G80 around it to get it in the garage. Well, when I did that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this clip of exactly what happened. The most reliable of the cars that I have, because it's pretty much new, the G80 has fully broken the transmission in the driveway. In the driveway. Pulled up, 
grab the mail out of the mailbox and put it in neutral, put the parking brake on, get back in the car, and it rubber bands forward or back. I don't even know what it is. I've never seen anything like this in my life. So, start the car. The car will not roll forward. I'm releasing the clutch. I don't know if you can see in the video, but the car will not roll forward. It's like it's stuck. But the parking brake is off because I can back up a f it's just rubber banded. It's like stuck. I, I've never seen anything like it. But I got it to move forward a little bit. Like, I, I, don't, I literally don't understand what's happening. But at least the car is pretty much new and under warranty. So I guess I'll get BMW to tow it out of here. If you are in an emergency or a life-threatening situation and in need of police assistance, please disconnect and dial 911. Please listen carefully. For all remote services, including remote door unlocking, please press 1. For a new roadside assistance case, please press 2. For the status of an active roadside, please have the last seven characters of your vehicle identification number, bin, ready, for a quicker assistance. If standing outside of the vehicle, the VIN number is located on the left lower corner of the windshield or on your vehicle registration and insurance card. Hi, I'm currently, I have a G80 M3. It's got about 9,000 miles on it and it's, uh, it's broken sideways across the middle of the road. And while now it was not the transmission at all uh, that was the problem with the car or the rear end, as I said previously in the video, I didn't find out until this clip what actually happened. So I walked around the other side of the car to try to see what was wrong and it's pretty obvious what happened so we're turning left and we are turning right so it's not the differential or the transmission or anything i just got out the driver's door and looked at it couldn't figure out what was going on so it looks like when i backed up to turn my tie rod or something in here broke now before you say, oh, well, you, you must have hit something, because I have a feeling that's what folks will say when I post this video, and I have a feeling that's what they will say probably at BMW or the tow truck driver is gonna say. Um, I'm gonna show you the surroundings and how it's impossible that I hit something and it'd almost be silly to think that. So um, there are no skid marks whatsoever around the car. There is absolutely no sign of an accident whatsoever. There are no marks on the wheels whatsoever. They're a little bit of dirty with brake dust, but there are no marks on the wheels as if I hit something. There are no marks on the bumper whatsoever. There is no curb that I could have hit. And if you're thinking, well, what if, what if he hit a curb, but then he just drove it here? Well, with how folded that tie rod is, which I'll try to show you again, it's impossible that I could have moved the car. It doesn't move forward or backward even an inch. The only thing that's possible is that it took place right here where the car is sitting. So this is the good side. So you see the steering wheel, I don't know if you can see this, but the steering wheel is turned to the right right now. So this wheel is okay and it's steered to the right. And I'm gonna try to show you this tie rod, if I can. This tie rod, if you can see that, is completely straight. But the tie rod on the other side is literally folded at a 45 degree angle. Like, how is that even possible? Is it just these big sticky tires and it just literally folded the tie rod? I mean, it's the craziest thing. I can't believe it. And I mean, I don't want to bash BMW in any way, but the, this is a new G80. It has less than 10,000 miles on it. Like, how does this happen? I've never hit anything with the car. It's never had an accident of any kind. This should be impossible. I, I can't believe it. So if you guys have an explanation for what happened or any comments that you'd like to share below, please do. I'd love to hear it. So relatively shortly thereafter, BMW sent out the first tow truck. It only took about 30 minutes for the first tow truck to show up. And unfortunately, when the first tow truck got there, this happened. So the tow truck driver is now leaving that uh, BMW roadside assistance sent because 
the car is completely immobile and will not move. Uh, he can't drag it forward like this. He wanted me to sign a waiver that says if he damages my car that I'm liable for all the repairs. Well, I, this has zero to do with me and everything to do with the fact that the car had a mechanical failure. So I'm not going to sign a waiver that says if my car gets damaged that it's that it's on me. So uh, I refuse to sign it and I guess I got to find a different tow truck driver that can actually tow the car. So is what it is. That's the update. <laughs> Now, once the second tow truck showed up, we were finally able to get the car pulled onto the roll off, or rather slid onto the roll off and get it loaded up. And since this all took place, I've kind of come to the realization that since the car was used, maybe there was some type of prior damage or maybe Sometime throughout the ownership something small happened to the car, but the whole thing absolutely doesn't make sense And I really do think that it was some type of a parts failure um, It it seems impossible that we could have driven the car home And I'm talking dead straight down the highway that clip that we showed of driving and shifting through the gears That was probably 30 miles before the clip where it broke did did the steering wheel look like it was dead straight down the road Did it look like the alignment was off? Did it look like anything indicated that a tie rod was bent at a 45 degree angle? I don't understand how the damage could have been pre-existing now I've had an automotive background for a number of years and it doesn't make sense to me either that a tie rod could just bend like that but just the way that it took place we drove home drove perfectly straight and then all of a sudden it's bent you know 45 degrees so i kind of understand where bmw is coming from basically once the car got to bmw the service rider has been trying to help me as much as possible so i don't really dock him and in their defense the car showed up broken but basically for the last month or so i've been fighting back and forth and they're saying car came in broken it's not covered under warranty and we're not going to fix it well i'm really not willing to accept that let me show you one of the bills that they sent us for how much they want for this repair of the tie rod so you can see so that is how much they want to charge us to repair the tie rod and the steering rack if we just do the tie rod they recommend we do both sides which you saw one side was completely fine but that's how much they want to do both tie rods in a four wheel alignment so Ultimately, where we're at right now is we're obviously not going to pay that. So I've reached out to BMW of North America and they are sending out a representative to look at the car. And even the technician said himself, he said, everything tells a story. Uh, there's no story to be told here. There's no marks underneath the car. There is no damage to the wheel. There is no damage on the car that leads us to believe that something was run into to cause this. Um, so the technician is trying to help me, but it's kind of outside of his control it seems like so I've reached out to BMW of North America and they're trying to help us So hopefully the follow-up in the next video is that yay BMW went ahead and took care of it The car's under warranty and it got fixed and we can shoot some clips and driving the car now if that doesn't happen I'm not gonna spend that astronomical amount of money to fix a car that I don't feel like I caused the the car to be broken in the first place so we'll probably get the thing towed back and we'll have some videos of us fixing it hopefully that's not the case and they can fix it and ultimately i don't have an alignment rack here so we can't do the alignment and all that stuff but um, we are going to have a follow-up to this video on that so if you're not already subscribed to the channel please go subscribe so you can catch that we are going to have some really cool content coming with the g80 we hope to have done it by now but obviously as you can see from this video the car can't be used and we're kind of dealing with a little bit of a headache so as soon as we get that taken care of we'll get a video coming out with it thank you guys so much for watching and i do want to take a, th a second to thank you guys for 10,000 views on the channel in a little over a month so that's awesome Ali and i really appreciate it and obviously the more support that we get on the channel the better and better content that we can make so thank you so much for watching and we hope you have a great day and a great december bye bye Ba-da-da-da-da